during this, so yeah. we'll just stop. So, uh, we got blue bomber versus blue blur. Yep. Let's see what which blue is bluer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, going to Smashville right off the bat. We'll see if Finn Nash. Wait, the Goofs tag save for Smasher? <laughs> does. <laughs> okay. Apparently, Goof is doing this for Smasher. I'm doing it for you, buddy. So, uh, this is definitely going to be the summary of the matchup right here. Smasher just putting up a wall. Goof doing everything in her power to find a way through it. Dude, it's Pellets and Metal Blade Man versus Bindash. Yeah. I mean, you see her trying to go up higher. Mega Man's like, no, you can have some more lemons. But here's the kicker. If Sonic can get in, Mega Man doesn't really have many tools to get people off of him. Yeah. So it's going to be up to Goof to get in and stay in. Yeah. And we've seen Goof try to go through more aerial approaches to try to, try to beat out, to try to avoid the lemon, but it's not working out. And not at all. That was a great shield grab by, uh, that shield grab by Goof. Yep, right now, Smasher forced to ledge here, but fighting his way off with the uh, neutral air. That was a nice air dodge read. Yeah, it's definitely something that Goof goes for a lot, because against Sonic, a lot of people tend to panic because it's just such a hit and run style that you constantly feel like you're on edge and have to react to it. So Goof does a good job of taking advantage of those situations that Sonic can create. And uh, Leaf Shield coming in clutch there, and he put him to get that grab as well. Yeah, I mean, Mega Man just has so many good tools to deal with Sonic's kit. It's probably Sonic's only losing matchup, to be honest. It feels like it. Oh, very nice pressure with the Metal Blade coming down there, forcing Goof into the shield and allowing him to get that grab. Oh, Ooh. that was that was nice. I, I <laughs> oh, uh, no. He's going to make it back. Why'd you, no. wall, why'd you wall jump? No, you didn't right need there. to do that. I think that was a miss input right there, unfortunately. So, Goof having to play from the back foot now. Yeah, and Sonic does not do well while he's we, 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 we losing. Yeah, that's really going to be the challenge right here because this plays right into Smasher's hands because that defensive style is going to be showcased right now. And we just see the mix up with the pellets going for one, two, one, two, three, mixing up how many he's using every time. It definitely makes it difficult to get that opening against him. As long as we one of the heavier characters in the game, it's going to be really hard for Goof to steal the, steal, steal the kill as well. Yeah. And 142, that's going to be close. Do That'll do it. That was a fresh backer. So that's easily going to do it. Yeah, and I mean, you just saw how long it took for him to still reach the blast zone. But yeah, but yeah Master just very much still in control of this game. He's pretty much, just, pretty much just control the stage this entire time. Yeah, and that's really what you got to do as Mega Man in this matchup. Because as long as you're on the stage, things will be fine for you. But in any matchup, I feel, if Mega Man is off the stage, it really limits what he can do because the pellets will only help you out so much off stage, especially if you're having to recover low. Very nice falling up there, gonna catch Goof off guard there. Get a little bit more damage here, but oh, he missed uh, he missed the, the rush mix up. Yeah, that's definitely something that uh, his Mega Man has been known to do is the bouncing defense where he just uses the rush, bounces off it constantly and just keeps going up and down and catching people out with those up airs. Flame blade. Oh, he almost had an air dodge read. Up air? Oh, he went the middle blade. Yeah, great air dodge there from Goof just to miss that last hit. Because there is a small opening that you can take advantage of to at least be able to avoid that last hit in some situations. Dude, that, was some, that was some great SDI by Snatcher out of that there. Yeah, slowly but surely, Goof has been racking up damage on Smasher, so if he can, she can keep this up, she should be able to start bringing it back, but that up air is going to seal it off before she gets a chance. Mm. Uh, that up air gets a lot of sneak kills, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, it's just such a good option for Mega Man whenever he's landing, because, yeah, he doesn't really have any good attacks for when he's coming down, but when he's landing, that up air is just such a godsend, because even if it doesn't get the hit, there's still a small enough window for you to at least be able to get out of there and be able to set your wall back up. All right, I, I forget, is Luther going to be best of three or best of five? Uh, should be best of three, I imagine. Okay. 
So this, so this is, so Sinestro wins this game, it, it is locked up. Yep. So Goof definitely have to find a way to take off the stock as soon as she can. I would almost say, I would, I would, I'm kind of, I'm almost surprised that Goof didn't go like more for Lucina because I know she has one. Yeah. But I, I think I'm not. She didn't do that. She didn't. She did. She did okay with Sonic, and she, you know, getting Sonic stock made her pretty good. Yeah. So right now, he's she's been all over the match right now, yeah. massive lead. Yeah, and that's really what you need to do in this matchup because Mega Man, like we've said, is good at setting up the walls. He's not good at rebuilding them. Oh, great patience Ooh, there from Goof. Tornado did the thing there. Yeah, just very clipped. Had they very good, but that he was she was uh, too too uh, too low to get that. Right yeah. There. Yeah, and that's gonna be the challenge because the more damage she keeps racking up, the harder it's going to be to get those kinds of setups. So it'll just become a uh, mix-up options for the kills. Yeah, we see spin dash mix up smasher mix mix it up uh, mix it up again as she's able to hit smasher and spin dash. And this is where it gets frustrating, just trying to find that opening in the palace, and she was able to find it, but. Not to uh, kill confirm, unfortunately. Yeah, and you just see Goof just trying to find some way to get in here, but Smasher doing a good job playing patient here. Not really overextending or overcommitting to any of his options. We shield up. Going for the grab here, chucks Goof back off stage. Oh, 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 that was the, I think the Metal Blade stage spiked them. Is that what happened? It looked happened. like a combination of the Metal Blade and the Spring because the Metal Blade put him into the hit animation and then the Spring came in right afterwards to knock him up in the stage. So I think those two combined kind of threw off his timing for the tech. Yeah, if we're going to do it, no, we're going to air dodge out. That back air though, that'll definitely, definitely do take it. it. Yeah, Slash Claw is just such a strong move. Is that what it's called, Mega Man game? Yeah. Oh. Okay. oh yeah, right now, Smasher trying to get that wall back up, but Goof having none of it this time around. And really against Smasher's Meg Man, you do have to be able to play patient against it because you're going to have to work to get those openings. So yeah. if you let the constant peppering of pellets get under your skin, it's going to be a rough time for yeah. you. Because uh, when you get frustrated, your opponent will easily just grab the frustration and use it against you. Yep. And, and especially in this game, you have to keep a good mentality. Yeah, you have to be level-headed in order to beat, beat any character, really. But especially the, especially one of the annoying ones like Mega Man, or Sonic, yep. for example. Trying to get him with the uh, up air, but no dice. Jeez. Right now, Smasher just... So many V-drops. <laughs> yeah, just content to sit back at the other side of the stage here. Even though he's got doesn't have the lead right now, there's still enough time on the clock where he can play this style yeah. no issue. You know, even though I don't think it's going to be timeout, I would not be surprised with the timeout at all. Yeah, especially with these two characters. Off smash, going to get some good damage, but not enough for a kill. Oh, then they almost killed us. Yeah, that does have a hitbox. It has decent knockback. Yeah, especially the point blank hitbox yeah. that it has. I think Smash is going to do C stick nares. Yeah, it's definitely the reason he uses Tilt Stick for this character. Oh, well. Oh, I think it's Trump. Back there air is going to do it. Oh, no. Nice DI. I didn't find that as a kill. Oh, tried to get the Back flame stage. sword. Gonna catch, gonna catch the saw blade. And Leaf Shield can put up with the pressure again. And but this is definitely a difficult situation for Goof to have to deal with here because sitting at 137% is oh, definitely not good. He but missed the attack. Dang, great edge guard there by Goof. Not giving Smasher a chance to be able to get back to the stage and taking it to game three. Yep. So uh, hopefully uh, Sonic's out there taking notes on how to play this matchup. Because it's definitely one that seems to come up a decent amount for Sonic means as far as how to deal with it. Yep. And we'll go right back to Smashville. No counter picks. Smashville took the entire set. Three, two, yeah, so going into game three here. Goof's definitely been doing a better job of being able to get in, so it's going to come down to Smasher to be able to mix up his wall game. Yep. And right now we just think Goof is get, get in time and time again. Yeah. But, but that tornado is so much percent to see humans right back up anyway. Yeah. Trying to go for the Z drop again, but Goof too far away to be able to get the confirm. 
Down for up air, can do some decent damage. Ghost Pen doing a really good job of getting out of those uppers, I gotta say, because you haven't really seen the last hit of the tornado hit that often. Yeah. I, I've only seen it hit her once. So, it, it, it's been really, she's been really good at getting escaping it. Yep. Throw not getting the conversion out of it, though. Smasher ready with that air dodge. But right now, Smasher just constant pellets here. Keep the goof from being able to get much going right now. Yeah. And this really is one of those matches where it's gonna be death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. It's just gonna be who it's just be who can who can spin dash better and who can pellet better. <laughs> yeah, right now Smasher definitely doing a pretty good job with those pellets, but Goof finally getting him off stage here, so Smasher gonna have to be careful as he returns to neutral here. And we're just seeing this. I think we're seeing the same thing, but obviously, obviously, in the mind of the players, they're they're thinking of different strategies, try to counterplay each other all, for every second of the match. Yeah, and that's really the important thing in any fighting game: just being able to keep your strategy updating at all times. Because if you just let your playstyle get stagnant, your opponent's going to be able to capitalize on that so easily. Yep. And you're not going to be able to win any more sets once they've got you downloaded. So uh, much like. Uh, Norton Antivirus, you gotta keep updating it if you want it to work. <laughs> Smasher can kill for a couple moves here. Back throw kill at the ledge. His, um, back arrow definitely kill. Definitely yep. Kill. I believe Shield is just so good at setting up for that. Thank you, Smasher, for doing exactly what I said that you would do. <laughs> hey, sometimes you got the commentator curse, sometimes you got the commentator blessing. Ooh. Oh, what's that? That read. A little yeah. late on the follow-up. Yeah, Backer gonna catch him without a jump though, but Smasher, good call going up high there, catching Goof off guard. This is definitely a tricky situation because the longer it takes for Goof to take off the stock while Smasher's in disadvantage, the more chances it gets for him to get back into neutral here and start racking up some damage. And then we might see a rage sure you kill like 50. Yeah, that's a scary thing to think about that once you're up to that percent, you could just die if you misspace something on shield. And Mega Man's so heavy, you living through that up air. You know, wow. it's insanely stale. That'll you know, do it. That's not, that's not stale, though. Yeah, and that's not a large deficit to have to overcome for Goof to be able to bring this back in her favor. Definitely. Jeez, right now, just trading blows. Goof trying to Ooh. find some opening, but Smasher doing a good job of weaving in and out of that aggression. Yep. See more, see more battle metal, metal blade setup. Yep. Jeez. I mean, this just looks frustrating to deal with. <laughs> I think frustrating to deal with for either side. Yeah. You gotta keep adjusting to the same move, but the same move can be manipulated to do to diff to different things. Yeah, and that's really the challenge here. Oh, Sm if Smasher had just gotten an up tilt there, that could have just ended it. Yeah. But I can respect him for going with the safer disjoint option because sometimes it can be hard to tell when that move is actually finished. And when you have such a big lead like this, you can afford to play safe and get, and get away with it, even though it might, yep. not be the, might, might not be the right thing. But that up is going to take it. Yeah. 2-1, two, two Smasher favor. And now we've got an unknown walking up to the sticks to take out Smasher. Yep. Uh, well, at this point, I'm going to see if somebody wants to tag